Hello everyone and welcome back to another Raiders video. In this video, I'll be my kind of thoughts on the Raiders free agents right now. Just talking about some guys that I would bring back, some guys I would let walk, so let's get into it. So first is Josh Jacobs, our biggest free agent of the year. I think there is a possibility that makes sense for us to move on from him and keep him. I think we can really make it work with both options. We just have to choose the right one um, for us. I think we can be good with Josh Jacobs, we can be good without him. So my question is, yeah, I do like him a lot on the team. Great player, obviously, but we can win without him. So would I really pay him whatever he wants? Not not exactly. I mean, this is a great running back draft class, great running back free agency class as well. Not like I'm going to pay a different running back if I'm not going to pay Josh Jacobs. For me, if, if it's in free agency, it's going to be Josh Jacobs. If not, we should draft the guy and pair him with Zemir White. No matter what, I want to see Zemir White get carries next year. If Josh Jacobs wants anywhere between 8 to 10, eight to 10 million, I would bring him back. I would roll with him and Zemir White, except this time Zemir White, Zemir White actually has to get more touches than he did with Jacobs fully healthy, getting, you know, let's say 90% of the workload. So do want to see Zemir White get in there more, but we'll, we'll see with Jacobs. I, I, I would definitely be okay with bringing him back. Adam Butler is another guy I want to bring back for sure. Now, I don't want him to be a starter, but I, but I thought he did good last year. And hopefully this year, if we improve at the position, he can still be a guy that helps us in the rotation because I think he did put up some nice production. I'm a fan of Adam Butler. Should not be expensive as well. Another defensive tackle is Val Nichols. I would let him walk. I'm not a fan of what he did in his two years here. Andre James and Jamino Lamont are next two guys. These are definitely both interesting moves, right? Because they both can play pretty well, but we can definitely upgrade as well. I would bring back Jamino Lamont at right tackle on like another one year deal like he had last year. Maybe a little bit more than he got last year. I believe we paid him about $3 million last year. Maybe we can give him a little bit more than that, but it should not be a, you know, it should not be. A big contract, obviously, but I would definitely like to bring him, bring him back. Andre James, I do like Andre James probably more than other people do. Centers of heart position to find, whether it's in free agency or the draft. Now this year there's actually a lot of good centers in the draft. Ryan Jackson, Paris Johnson, Cedric Rampran, Zach Frazier, among other guys. And in free agency, it's pretty solid as well. So I I, I would be okay with both, but Aluminor for sure I'd bring back. Andre James, I'm questioning it though. Austin Snooper, I'd probably like walk. I'm a fan of what he did back in the past with Lando, but I think we can get a better tight end too. Mir Abdullah, pretty much the same thing, getting up there in age. I did like him last year and the year before. I, um, I like bringing him back last year, but this year, not sure if I'd resign him. He's a scat back. We can find a different scat back one that's younger. Greg Van Rowan is a guy I want to bring back as a depth piece. I want to bring him back, but you know, not not to start him, just as a depth piece. I would like to have Greg Van Rowan back on a cheaper deal. DeAndre Carter, it's also on here. Honestly, I'd bring him back. I think he's a solid return guy. Trey Tucker can also return. McCarter's already pretty good at kick and point returning, so I'd bring him back. He's, you know, pretty much a, I guess you could say, backup to our receiver if we wanted to, you know, play him uh, instead of Trey Tucker at any given point if he's injured or whatever. Of course, Hunter Renfro, probably not going to be here next year, but Trey Tucker should be a guy that can take over in the slot and do good things. John Jenkins is a older guy, but I think I like produced pretty well last year for us, given his age. We can find an upgrade there. I wouldn't be mad because again, he did produce, but he's pretty up there in age. He's 34 and I think we can find a better nose tackle. Jasper Horsehead is on here. He's like an athletic tight end, but I think we find we can find a better tight end than him. I'm not mind bringing him back, obviously. Brandon Parker is on here. Brandon Parker on the Raiders is inevitable somehow. Yeah, don't bring him back this time. Jakob Johnson at fullback. Just depends on what look at he wants to do. I don't believe he ever had a fullback in Chicago while he was the offensive coordinator. But if he wants to have one on this team, Jacob Johnson is definitely a guy that can block pretty well for us. Curtis Bowling, a linebacker, I'd like to bring him back. Um, you know, play some clutch teams for us. I thought he did pretty good in that role. Amik Robertson, this is an interesting one because I do like Amik Robertson. I liked him even before we drafted him. And I thought he could be solid in the slot. He's been solid for us on the outside, which is impressive given his size. But I would, I would bring him back if it was a one-year deal worth not that much money, you know, let's say 4 million max, because we do have a lot of free agents next year that we have to resign. And this is also in general. Um, this applies to all the free agents we have this year. We do have to consider that next year we have a lot of guys we have to pay. Malcolm Coons, Robert Sklein, Trevor Merrick, Nate Hobbs. The year after that, you know, Cole Miller, if you want to bring him back, he's going to be around 30 by then. Jack Jones. Um, so, going to have to keep that in mind as we are in this free agency class. So, Mick Robertson is a guy where I don't really... You know, I'm not really killing to have him, in, you know, two years from now. But next year, I'd like to have him as like a death piece. Definitely a guy I trust the star, but can't upgrade, as I've said, for a lot of these guys. 
Isaiah Palomao is at ERFA. I expect him to be back. And Jordan Mayer, the same thing. I believe today we might have officially already done it. I heard something about that. If we did not do it, then I would do it. He is a depth piece. He started one game for us at left guard this season as well. So that was me just kind of looking at all the free agents that we have, talking about who I would re-sign, who I would let walk, kind of the contracts I'd be okay with paying them if we did bring them back. Anyway, I'm Arto, and thank you for watching.